Hello everyone. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Um, C'est la première fois que je donne un concert dans plusieurs pays à la fois. Donc, um, c'est un peu difficile de choisir la langue. Mais comme je sais qu'il y a des, des non-francophones qui vont écouter ce concert, je vais, euh, je vais faire les explications en anglais. Um, so, hello to everyone. As I was saying, uh, it's the first time I'm giving a concert in uh, many countries at the same time, which implies many languages. Um, but because English is the international language, then I'll speak uh, in English most of the time. So that I hope most of you will be able to understand. So this is my uh, first uh, online concert. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it live because my internet connection is not good enough. Um, that's the downside of living in the countryside. Um, but I'm recording this just an hour before it goes online. So it's still Tuesday, um, 21st of April, and it's still my birthday. <laughs> So I'm really happy to do something special on my birthday as I can't celebrate this with friends. Um, and I'm very happy to, to share music with the public a bit everywhere in the world. So, so yeah, that's exciting. And um, I hope you're all doing okay in these very strange times. And uh, I hope music is helping you out a lot. It is for me, of course. And so um, I chose to, to play today a program that would reflect um, the times we're going through. So I chose um, the music of Eric Satie, French composer from the beginning of the 20th century. And I've always felt that his music really um, allows time to be suspended. And at the same time, it has uh, this fragile side to it which makes me feel that life, you know, only hangs by a thread. And, um, and yeah, on the other side, I'm going to play some uh, music from, um, from the Sufi prayers. And uh, a lot of these music are also used to accompany the whirling dervishes. And Sufi music um, helps me to remember um, the immensity of the my mystery that's surrounding us and that my life is not just about me and my home but it's much greater than that and um, it helps, helps me to look at life from the perspective of, of stars for example and that uh, helps me to feel things uh, uh, in a more relative way I'd say and in both Sati and Sufi music, um, there is a lot of nostalgia. And I've discovered lately that um, this nostalgia can actually also be a joy. Uh, because when we're no nostalgic about something, about, for example, people who are missing or activities we can't do anymore, <laughs> um, we're also recalling you know, some good times. And uh, this can bring joy. And um, in, the, um, in the Sufi wisdom, it is also said that nostalgia is an emotion with which we arrive when we are born on this earth. And that being because we are, um, we've changed cycle from, from this source we all come from. And we've, we, we then identify with an indiv individual self and have the impression of being separated. And that can, can bring nostalgia. But if we record that we're actually all connected and, and with this virus we're reminded that, um, then we feel less alone. And that's why this music is helping me a lot in these times. So I will talk about the detailed pieces as I go. And um, I will also add more improvisations to, to my Sufi arrangements. Um, and also start with a small improvisation that will slip into uh, Gnosien by Sati. And improvisation allows me to, to surrender to the unknown and just, um, just welcome what comes in the present moment. So, so that also helps me to go through this uncertain period. And 
and yeah so let's see what melodies come out from these improvisations and um, and I hope you will enjoy my selection for today's concert The next piece will be um, a Sufi song from Iran called Yavaran Masen. Sorry for my accent. <laughs> um, so my relationship with Sufi music um, actually started four years ago um, when I went to Turkey for for a trip. Um, so I'm my mom's Turkish, my dad's British, and I was born in Geneva in Switzerland. 
Um, but it had been eight years I hadn't been to Turkey and it was, uh, I was really missing it. So I went there and on my way I met uh, a young Sufi um, woman who, who welcomed me at, in her place. And uh, I was supposed to stay three days in this city which is called Konya. Um, which is kind of the birth of uh, the whirling dervishes, uh, birthplace of the whirling dervishes. So I was in Konya and I was there supposedly for three days and I ended up staying ten days. And um, this friend, um, she introduced me to Sufi music, to Sufi rituals, to her practices. And I was really in awe uh, in front of, uh, of so much beauty and so much simplicity at the same time. And so when I came back from this trip to, came back to, to, to Europe, um, I was preparing a program with uh, Bach's music and I decided to, um, to start playing Bach's music with the Sufi music uh, because I felt it brought me into the same emotional spaces. Um, and uh, so Sufi music doesn't exist for piano or or maybe very little, but it's an oral tradition, um, usually not played on the piano. Also because the piano has very limited scales compared to all the scales that are played in the Middle East. Um, I would need uh, at least twice as many notes. <laughs> um, so I decided to arrange these music by, by ear and um, to bring some harmony and some improvisations and composed parts in it. And so, um, so yeah, I ch I'm going to play um, in this concert two, two songs from Iran and two songs from Turkey. Um, I haven't been to Iran yet, uh, but in Turkey I met um, some Iranians who also made me discover their Sufi music and, and it's really beautiful. So this piece is called Yavaran Masim and I'm going to play the introduction, the melody. Um, with this mallet on the strings to evoke the sound of uh, the santur or the canon. So these are string instruments from uh, the Middle East.
that was um, a piece by Eric Satie, uh, another Gnostian. And I don't know if you've heard, but uh, the scale that Satie uses are similar to Middle Eastern scales, and that's why I had the idea of putting these music together. So this is the first time I'm doing this program. Um, I hope it makes sense to you as well. Um, so I will continue with um, another Sufi song from Turkey. Um, but I'm also going to drink a bit of tea, <laughs> because I can. <laughs> so, this song is called um, Bismillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, it's actually not really a song, uh, let's say it's, it's called a zikr, which is kind of a, a mantra maybe is a, is a better known word. So it's a, it's a sentence that is repeated um, continuously and allows uh, the person that uh, says it to enter a certain trance and um, and I'm not a specialist of, uh, of Sufi rituals, um, but what I feel is that um, these trances can help us uh, connect with the rest of, uh, of life and the rest of living beings and um, kind of forget our individuality and our separation from the rest. Um, and also find inside a, a place of a deep place uh, where we can always uh, feel in peace. So this uh, song is uh, usually um, well sang and also accompanied with uh, flute and percussion. So the only way I found to evoke um, these instruments is to put I'm putting a bottle tap covered in um, scotch and sellotape tape uh, on the string here in the bass. So you will hear uh, a light percussive sound and then I'm going to dampen the strings with this object which I created to avoid putting my hand on the strings because um, the hand has humidity and that can uh, oxidate the strings.
So this was another song um, from Turkey. And um, just before I played uh, um, Sati, another Gnossian. Um, just pour, uh, je vais dire quelques mots en français pour uh, ceux qui ne sont pas anglophones. Um, donc peut-être que vous avez entendu que dans les musiques de, de Sati, uh, il, y a des, il y a en fait des références à, la gamme, uh, à des gammes orientales. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai eu uh, envie de les mettre ensemble. Et uh, ce que je disais aussi en début du concert, c'est que je trouve que la musique de Sati permet vraiment de, de refléter à quel point la vie ne tient qu'à un fil et, et ça j'espère que vous avez pu aussi le, le ressentir à travers ces musiques et, euh, et que de l'autre côté dans les musiques soufis moi j'ai l'impression de sentir que, que la vie est, est en fait très très vaste même si elle est à la fois éphémère euh, mais on peut ressentir à la fois l'éternité aussi euh, voilà <rire> Donc, où, où j'en suis Je vais continuer avec une autre pièce de Satie, un, un peu moins connue que les Gnossiennes et les Gynopédies. Ça s'appelle « Pièce froide ». Ensuite, je jouerai euh, un, un chant d'Iran qui s'appelle « Manchdana ». Et je terminerai avec euh, une Gynopédie de, de Satie, mais que euh, j'expérimente en, en jouant avec des gongs et des bols. Um, So the last piece you heard was uh, a Turkish uh, song and uh, just before that was Sati. So I keep going from one, um, one universe to the other and making the way maybe feeling shorter every time. Um, I will continue with a piece by Eric Sati and then play a Sufi song from Iran called Manchedana, um, who, which was composed by Sharam Naziri. And then I'll finish with a song from Eric Satie called Gymnopédie, and which I play with uh, Tibetan bowl and gongs, which, which are here, but you can't, you probably can't see them. And uh, yeah, that will be the end of the concert. So, so let's continue with Satie. I hope you can enjoy the concert with some good speakers or headphones um, so that you don't lose too much information.
So I'm putting some earplugs between the strings um, to dampen the sound again, but without me needing to be on the strings. And that dampened sound of the of the string, so I'll make it up. See, instead of these don't have earplugs, and these have. So it gives a dampened sound that can recall the sound of the oud, for example. And then I'm adding my bottle top again um, on the bass to get some percussive sound. And I'm also adding these uh, ankle bells. Oh, here's the light. Ankle bells um, to my foot uh, because this song that comes from Iran is played with uh, daf. Um, so for those who don't know uh, what a daf is, it's a frame drum with a lot of um, of metal rings behind. So the sound is very dense and very rich. And I felt that my arrangement with just the piano wasn't enough. So, so yeah, I'm playing this with the um, ankle bells on my foot.
So we're coming to um, the last piece of the concert. I hope the video is still going and the sound is fine. Everything seems okay. And the dervishes are still turning. That's great. Um, so this winter I've been um, experimenting with uh, playing piano and Tibetan bowls and some gongs from China. And that's for my new program with Debussy and Satie. Uh, I'll be playing the Debussy and some improvisations with the piano and gongs in two weeks, Tuesday in two weeks. Um, um, but I wanted to, to show you this uh, new experimentation with uh, a piece of Satie called the Ginopédie. So I'm bringing the gongs closer to me but I don't know how much you can see of them. That's how they sound. And so I need this. Okay. So, Gymnopédie by Satie.
Thank you very much for watching this concert. Um, it brought me a lot of joy to share the music with you, find a way of of performing again. And um, and yeah, I hope to see you again um, the following Tuesday. So I'll be playing every Tuesday for, I don't know how long this lasted, but I'm trying to make it last 40 minutes, so it's not too long. Um, so next Tuesday will be Bach, sorry, I don't know, yeah. Next Tuesday will be Bach and Gurdjieff. And the following will be Debussy and some improvisations with uh, balls. I have another bigger one and uh, with the gongs. Um, yeah. So hope you're all doing well and are feeling and are feeling good enough to. I know. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to want to say now. <laughs> That's happened after playing concerts. I'm. I'm a bit out of phase. <laughs> Oh yes, actually, now I remember something I didn't say. Um, if you want to uh, donate for this concert and support my work until I'm able to play again uh, live performances, then you can donate to the link that's down there in the description of the video. It's a PayPal link. Thank you.